Hello. It's Sunday, not Friday, but a quick update. Um, no glasses. Yes. Uh, the camera's light and this thing is extremely washed out, so sorry about that. I'm probably going to have to play around with this here. Is that a little better? Yeah, it looks like it's a little better. Okay, the controls finally came up. This computer is practically on the fritz, actually. So there we go. So this actually looks a lot better. Yes, this webcam is a 10, 1080 vintage webcam. It's, it's like 10 years old. So, um, so a couple of things. There's a quick vlog Sunday night. Watch Paranormal Soup, which is on YouTube. So I'm actually getting back more into that stuff, even though I don't have my gear. It was all stolen in 2019. Sad, because some of that stuff could have been really fascinating tools. But with some of the stuff I have left over, I'm debating whether to put it on eBay. So keep, keep an eye on that eBay listing. I might put up a couple of SLS cams and SLS parts, because I can build all types of crazy gizmos. Or I could sell what I can right now, recover some losses... And get ahead in life and then move forward once I have a room in the house that I can actually do things. Um, this is my office. It's quite frankly a mess. It's a mess, a mess, a mess at best. So I've got that going. Um, tons of keyboards if anyone want them. Give me a holler. I have them listed on eBay. So most people want my rare stuff. I don't even know because I love my some of my really large oversized dragons i had a big thing for those so there's some in storage right now that are like still brand new i'm thinking of bringing it in and once i get a vacuum unstuff it so i can store them much more effectively because they'll fit in the box and plus i the stuffing is that styrofoam crap so but they make a really good ceiling hanging things regardless even though that the uh, nylon reacts with uv light i had some stuff that just died in here I'm going through a bunch of stuff at the office. I find stuff that died just because it's sitting on a shelf. There's black curtains to block both light and, which actually helps with the heat, and it also blocks some of the sound, so this it's not as loud outside anymore, which is a little better, even though we do get some ground-shaking mufflers. Um, things might be coming, coming back to whatever it is, but... Let's see, I can try to do this here. Webcams are webcams and webcams. I think these are all 1080 webcams. Ah, oh, this is a 1080 too. One on my 3D printer is a 1080. So maybe I get the 3D press, 3D printer running and get some prototypes going throughout the year. A couple of things I got to finish. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a first suit done by Onyx Angel Creations. Hopefully, I'm just hoping that she's not rushing it. Eh, whatever, they're gonna put some lights on it. And I don't know if they'll ship me a controller to test it with, but I'm building my own LED driver controller. Version one is just to you know create a fading pattern or something really simple. The V2, since I do have some of the base code from my previous creations, um, if I could figure out how to do either multi threading or simultaneous thread. Is the one for the hand paws or claws, they have lights on them, I think. I haven't heard talk to them how they're doing it because the process is, should be about three months of construction is what I estimated based on some people that I've worked with in the past. I just don't know why she started about a week ago. So even though it was due in the middle of July, so that way I could get it this week and touch it up, test it, and then ship it over to the hotel next week. So next week is kind of my shipping week, or at least towards the end of the week, I'm going to be trying to get some stuff shipped out. I'm actually going to look for an item in storage, and I may ship some stuff out to the hotel for toys and things like that for uh, for the uh, inflatables panel on Stratosphere Convention. But I also have a tech panel, and I don't exactly know if I actually, if I could still, because they're apparently they're doing their their uh, first year competition on that Sunday, the same time was just announced like two days ago, which annoys me because I was just about to cancel that. So I'm like, I don't know if there's some shit going on that I'm not aware of, but I'm very accurate at paying attention. My friend Growly actually knows this because we both are that. 
I just have a disdain for people who uh, do things illegally now. So I will look the other way for a little bit, but I will make sure things are done legitimately. Um, so I've got some upgrades that just finished at work. I'm still doing it, but it's going to take a while. I've had some trouble upgrading some network back in. There'll be fiber running across the ceiling. I want to put a 10 gate fiber pipe to my computer, but now I want to switch my computer out. So I'm like, eh, whatever, two things going on. So it's one of those things where if you wait long enough, it, it actually fixes itself. And the reason being is problems start occurring. They need this, they need that. So I says, here, why don't you have what I have that works perfectly fine? You take that and I'll go buy myself something new. So it's that people hate that because it gives you a reason to buy something new. But at the same time, it's been tested. So if there's a problem, you know ahead of time because you feel tested it. So instead of actually buying something new for someone else, which actually makes them happy, but it's kind of like, well, if the Mac doesn't work or this doesn't work with this device, I'm like, hold on, let me talk to support and see what they can give me some info. And people hate that, but they like it because I'm now talking to someone else, which I don't understand because I, I only talk to them one time and I can make the connection that the two and two, three and three, four and four, the sockets all plugged together and it, all the gears align for me. I don't never have this problem with I don't know because only time I don't know if it's something you did without documentation. So, and I write notes down on everything. So, but right now I'm just process upgrading that 10 gig fiber. Didn't finish that upgrade and maybe until late August when I'm finished with the other thing because I'm going to be doing some electronic work right now. So, I'm going to be at home trying to wire up some test circuits. Hopefully I can get it to do it the way I want it. And then there is a debate to that myself if I do even want to continue on doing these few fursuits with the glowy lights and stuff. They were fun when they were new. Now everyone knows how to do them. I don't even find it fun doing them. And I'd just like to get a fursuit done. But now it's like, I just want to get a character done of at least two, one of my characters. And two of them are taking forever. One of them is about a six year wait. I'm about ready to call it in our late August, mid August because of other things that I'd rather move the funds to really and, and start focusing on that. Um, I might do another production run of Drake Toys. I don't know. Uh, Zoran's bugging me on this, so keep an eye on there because I do have a budget for that now. Um, that I'm also talking to a couple of other furs that I may do a project. But I don't know how we're going to do this together. I told him, why don't we start something together? You get an LLC, I get an LLC, we partner up on this. And I'll put some money down on the plate to get it to production. And the account makes money. You can take that. I just take a small 50-50% on the assets. This way, it's a lot simpler because I'm fairly certain if I can promote it and get it going, it will sell. Because I know how to find, I know how to find outlets. The problem is keeping them. Because just like human beings, humans are, oh, wow, type of, type of thing. And unless you talk to someone who's the Outback style and thinks it's cool but never would spend a single dime or something along that line, there's supporters or stuff like that. I, I'm not into any of that stuff. Fame and fortune is above my head. I just want to get cool stuff done. And I like cool things like dragons, collections, and sometimes rare things, but not because it's rare. It's because it was something that I remember. So that's where I kind of break the barrier. I've had a couple people offering me for stuff that I don't even know if I should sell because there are, there are parts of my life that were a really good time. One of them, I already sold one of them, so I have the new in box version doesn't have as much meaning and I'm beginning to learn that you can't replace something. If something that you took with you everywhere, an emblem, whatever it is in your life, there's no way you can spend, like some of the makers say, just throw $80 on the plate. The best you could do is make new stuff and take it on more adventures. But what's in the past, once it's gone, it's almost as good as a personal friend. It's dead, it's history, and it's just the memory after that unless that memory somehow resurfaces in the grand scheme of universe. My right eye is acting up, so I don't know why, but it, my left eye is so it's a blinking on I, I still need about three week, three months for my eyes. I don't even know if I might have to see the doctor again on next week because it's a little itchy, and they have some stuff to give you 
You're only supposed to use it for seven days, but I may actually start dropping some antibiotic drops back in because my right eye has been acting up and twitching a lot, which could indicate an infection. So once we're antibiotics, it's usually pretty good at mitigating some of that if you start doing regular regimens for about a week or so. But um, you don't want to do it too much because you really want to let the immune system handle it. So the immune system will flush it right out. Just like vaccinations. Let the immune system actually flush it out as long as nothing else fails. But anyhow, there's my two cents update vlog for the week of, well, it should have been the last one in July, but it's actually August 1st. Woohoo! It's quiet and I'm about ready to head home. Night, y'all.